out, bustin', came out, bluffin', came out, fuckin', who your cousin? I do all these bruises, bruises, then they daddy. Would you been let the smoke clear? I got diamonds to it to see slides in both ears. Dice rollin' on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a lot, I keep the water in my shorty bag. You know she won the mind when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she love the toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. This that roll myself a J and count my figure shit. This that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spend what you wanna be who you wanna be. We I'm stun up till I die. So I'm just now leaving Lane Giant because they had a sale on uh, their panties um, on their Cacique line. And if you guys know, if you got any plus size ladies out there, they have a sale going on right now. Their panties are five for 35. So I went and, went and got me some undergarments because they're the only ones that I really like and they give me the support that I need um so yeah so we came out here to the outlets this move is down there at the Nike store I believe so I'm here to go meet him down there and then I think I don't know exactly where else we go I'm um, where we're going after that but yeah y'all I love a good sale at Lane Bryant because Lane Giant and Torrid they're like my two well Torrid Torrid is actually my favorite big girl store. Um, but for some reason, Torrid, Torrid's underwear or undergarments don't fit me like I like for them to fit. So I always opted to get my panties and my bras from Lane Bryant. And then I'll go to Torrid like for my shirts, my jeans shoes and like other stuff but Torrid's undergarments just don't they just don't do me like I want them to do it don't be giving the support that I need so I never really go to get undergarments from Torrid weird but Torrid is like one of my big girl favorite stores and I got a forever 21 outlet over here too I'm gonna see it I might go over there real quick see if if be smooth not ready out of nike i'm gonna slip over here to the forever 21 real quick but i just got a, some uh, i just got five pair um they're just like briefs black pair gray pair purple pair y'all don't y'all know what draws look like y'all don't need to see that but i just got me some undies some cute little sexy undies so I'm surprised you found something because normally you go in there you'll be like hey, hey, don't, they don't be having it but they got a bunch of shit with kids that were out telling Courtney what did you FaceTime her and let her see what they have uh uh cause this is kind of congested inside of ours uh huh Hello? 
Sorry. I don't know why my phone is doing that. Hold on, Miss Al. I promised DeAndre we was going to. I was thinking about making some brownies instead of a cake. What are those? Air Max. A V O I V O's. I V E's? Um, I V O? Hello? Okay. And they had your size. Surprise on mm -hmm. them. I'm cute. Yeah, 13 and a 14. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. I think she's Starbucks. Good morning. Can I get a um a strawberry acai refresher? With water, lemonade, or coconut milk? I'll do coconut milk. What size? I'll do a grande. Okay, anything else? Um, and can I get a red loaf a red velvet loaf? I'm sorry? A red velvet loaf. Okay. Let me make sure if we have any more of those. So it looks like we're unfortunately out of them. Um, we still have our banana nut bread, our lemon loaf, and the um, pumpkin loaf. Which one did you want to do today? I'll do the. Uh, I'll try. I'll do the lemon loaf. Okay. Anything else? That'll be all. All right. That is me. Nine sixty three, and I'll see you down here. Okay. I came to Starbucks so I could try the red velvet loaf, but they don't have it. And I got a mind to cancel this order and go somewhere else because I really want that. I don't want to spend $9 on a drink. Okay, well, you can go somewhere else. I don't know. I guess I'm going to sit here and think about it for a minute. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Should I settle for what I don't want or should I go somewhere else and get what I do want? I think I'm gonna go somewhere else and get what I do want. Forget it. All 2023, I'm not settling. I'm not going for things that does not serve me purpose or serve or make me happy. And on that note, good morning, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I don't know if this is going to be a, a start of a new vlog or this is a continuation of another piece of a vlog that I have. But anyway, how y'all doing? Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm no longer just settling for stuff that I don't really really want and I know I always say always you can have what you like but I mean that I'm going to really start if it doesn't serve me any type of purpose or really doesn't make me happy I'm not going to spend my heart on coins on it just to say that I'm getting it done no we're not doing that Starbucks, so can I get started for you? Um, yes. Do you have the red velvet loaf? We do. Okay, can I get one of those? And also, can I get a uh, mango dragon fruit refresher? Thank you. Yeah, we do that. You as well. Yeah, who who exactly am I tipping? And what am I tipping for if I'm at the drive through No, I'm, I don't want to tip nobody. Somebody ain't waited on me to do anything. Not through the drive thru. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong though. Y'all let me know. What y'all what y'all opinion on that is. Do y'all tip through the drive thru? You ain't served me. I mean, I don't know, y'all. Anyway. Anyway, let's try this drink. This good. I asked for extra mango, mango dragon fruit, extra mango, and it's good. It's more thicker. 
which I like because the other one we kind of thin. But let's try this red velvet loaf. Mmm. Y'all see that? It looks so good. Let me get a picture. For my reel. I'm going to do a reel. Ooh, and traffic coming. A lot of traffic coming, so I'm going to sit right here. Give me a reel. Oh. Mm, perfect timing. pretty good it's what I expected very good I don't know about the icing too much I don't too much care for icing like that but the, the cake itself is good not bad now it ain't no grandma homemade cake no red velvet homemade cake like that but it's still good for what it was, you know what I'm saying? Alright, this is the one that I wanted to smell. It's by the Ariana Grande. This one is this bottle here. good and then this one is the other one mm. I think I like the pink one better Okay, so I'm just not leaving old to you guys. And y'all, I would not, you guys would not believe this. So I go in there and I'm going in there purposely to look for the new perfume by Ariana Grande, right? So I see that Ulta now sells MAC. Now I knew they were selling like bits and pieces of MAC products in there before, but they didn't have like the whole line of makeup so i was in there looking at makeup and i am a creature by habit like once i find something that kind of works for me i just kind of stick to it i don't venture off and try new things especially if i see that it's been working for me for a long time or whatever so i normally get either the um the Mac, the maybelline makeup or i'll do the mac those are the only two really um now i've tried nars before um but maybelline and mac are like the two staples that i've you know i've used and i kind of just kind of become accustomed to so the young lady was in there she was like well that looks good on you or whatever but she was like have you tried any of this fenty beauty and i'm like no nah, i've never really tried it before or whatever and mind you i'm going into the smell perfume but like i said i saw mac had a whole line in there in ulta now so she introduces me y'all i don't know if you guys can tell but she was like you really have some really pretty skin i'm like oh i do okay thank you so she was like you really don't need like full coverage or whatever you can get like she asked me if i like full coverage and i was like you know now that i'm getting older i really don't feel the need to really have like a cake face i don't want that cake face unless it's like a special a special occasion like if i'm taking like professional pictures if i'm really like going somewhere but just every day you know my everyday makeup i don't really want that cake face look so she introduced me to this you guys so this is the ease drop blurring skin tint and it's very very light that's what it, it looks like you guys you guys the sun might be blurring it out 
but this little thing right here this blurring skin tint is what I have on my face now y'all when I say I am shooketh I am shooketh I don't know if you guys can tell I don't know if you guys can tell but the thing went on so light so smooth perfect for my everyday wear when I'm just out running my errands you know just everyday wear you know what I'm saying y'all know I work from home so I'm pretty sure this is gonna last make me it's gonna last me a long time because I don't put on makeup every day because I don't go everywhere I don't go anywhere every day because I work from home you know what I'm saying so I think I have really found myself loving this blurring skin, skin blurring skin tint and she said it's almost like a moisture a tinted moisturizer a1 let me turn the air on it's hot and then i also picked up this uh lip plumper it's the universal lip luminizer plumper and this is the fussy heat and that's the color for that that I purchased by Fenty Beauty, y'all. And um, I got that. And then I also picked up some um, facial toner by Thayer's. Got to think of that. And I sprayed both of those um, perfumes by Ariana Grande. Both of them smell good. But I like to test perfumes out because I'm not just the one to literally buy a big bottle and let it just sit there because it doesn't really match my chemistry because what may smell good on somebody else may not necessarily smell good on me because everybody's body chemistry is different so what I like to do is like buy samples or like sample it in the store walk around with it like for a few hours and see how it lasts um, and then kind of make base my decision like that. You know what I'm saying? Like me, just being smarter with my coins. You get what I'm saying? Like being very intentional. There go that word again, y'all. Being intentional. That's what we're doing all 2023. Being intentional. Okay. The vanilla, I'm really not feeling. I wasn't feeling the vanilla at all. The other one, the blush, it smells okay. But it's not like it's not my it's not my not my thing. And then I did smell some Versace. The uh, it was the 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 oh my god! I'll put it on the screen. It's the Versace pink one. I like the way that one smelled. All they had was the tester bottle. They didn't have any of the um regular bottles of that one. Now I do like that one. <laughs> So, I think I'll probably go and try to find that one, maybe like at a Belk, or I'll go to another Ulta to try to find that one, because that one, mm, now that one smells good. That one, when I say grown woman status, grown, I don't like a lot of fruity smells and stuff like that. Now, I may do like a fruity smell when I'm going to bed, you know what I'm saying, but my everyday smell, I want something kind of grown and sexy. Like, I want you to smell me before you see me, and that Versace Mmm, it's just something about it. Now that one I love. I absolutely love. And that lip plumper that I put on, it's got my lips feeling real tingly. All bubbly inside. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done with that. So where else did I say I needed to go? I don't know. So, I'll call you back. Oh, my God. This thing is so pretty on my skin. Like, girl, are you even wearing anything on? Yeah, I got a little bit of makeup on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I'm loving that tinted. That, that Fenty. I'm loving it. Oh! You know how when you find something new and it really seems like it's going to really work for you, you get all excited and bubbly and warm and fuzzy inside? That's how that's making me feel. Like, using that and a little bit on my beauty blender, I won't need a lot. I'm not going to need a lot. Just something to kind of even me out. And even me out just perfect. Perfecto. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Y'all, so I'm in Target. 
Target. What? I'm in Target and I see these got um now they did have these and I've already seen these already and I've already seen the blue sweatshirts, but I have not seen these green ones, these green t shirts right here. And it says beautiful in all shapes and all shades. And I'm liking this one too. So I'm debating on which t shirt should I get. I don't know if I want to get a t shirt or if I should get the sweatshirt. I'm not really sure. But I'm definitely going to get one. I just don't know which one I like more. But I really see that. I think they do have. My yep, they do have my size, and it's a 2X. I love this shade of green, y'all. This green is really pretty. I love it. But do I want a t-shirt or do I want a sweatshirt? That's the thing. I don't know which one I want. Let's see what else they got. They got the bags stuff they even got the baby stuff over here look at the baby stuff oh it is so cute god this is so cute and they got the african print pants got the little dresses and stuff down there oh this print too this is pretty Y'all know when we see a pic a mirror, we got to come to it. We got to come to the mirror and get a picture for M for our thumbnail. Got to make sure homegirl move it my way. All right, y'all. It's many, many, many hours later, y'all. As you guys see, I'm done with Target. I done went to Burlington. I don't went to a few places. It's time to go home. Okay. I'm tired. I'm at Zach's. He's about to get me a piece of chicken. Or I might get me like a little. They got a sensation salad that looks pretty good. I might get me a salad and a peach sweet tea. And I'm going to head to the house. So I'll see y'all when we get home. Last, last. Now everybody go to our breakfast. Shadow. So what's up? So it is 
Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, January the 17th, and it is my son's birthday, y'all. He has turned 16, so I just, the people just left here, uh, I sit right there, the people just left here, um, to put the sign out in the yard, so I'm gonna show that to you guys really, really quick. I'm trying not to show the front of my house too much, but I want to come out here and let you guys see the sign that I did. Well, I didn't do it, but I got it ordered. So I'm gonna try to show it without showing the front of the house. Let me go down some. So, Oh, that bush in the way. That bush is in the way. But that's what we got there so far. All right, so. I remember, I think I told you guys, y'all was with me the other day when I went to Target. And I forgot to show y'all everything I got. But I don't put the stuff up now. And I don't remember what, everything I got. But I did get a few items from Tabitha Brown Collection, Vegan Collection. So... I ended up getting um, two different um, spreads. I got the vegan truffle garlic spread. I got that one. And then I also picked up the vegan lemon dill garlic spread. And that's what these look like. I also picked up a popcorn. This is the sweet and salty organic popcorn. I saw her. She was on live. Either she was on live or she was on TikTok. One of them. I can't remember if it was a Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, or TikTok. But anyway, one of them short videos. Um, she was eating that popcorn. And that popcorn had looked so appetizing. She make it look so good. So I'm about to try to, to try the popcorn and see what it tastes like. Now, like any other popcorn or any other bag of chips. Now you see how big the bag is. This is how much popcorn we got in him. Why they do us like that? I know it ain't, it ain't nothing, no reflection on Miss Tabitha, Auntie Tab. It ain't nothing to do with her. We just know all this air in this popcorn. All right, so let's try this vegan popcorn. Let's see how it tastes. Girl, it tastes good. There's nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with the popcorn. I see why she was eating, eating what she was eating. It's it good. Mm-hmm. It's real good. All right. So, this spread, it says perfect for adding the sandwiches, bowls, or vegetables. So, I ain't got neither one of them right now. I guess when I cook my dinner later. Let me see if I got some string beans. I do got some string beans. Alright, so I got some string beans I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook these string beans, and then I'm going to put one of these spreads with the string beans, and I'm going to come back and let y'all know how it tastes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cook my dinner. What else I'm going to cook with that? What else I'm going to cook with some string beans? I struggle with trying to figure out what I'm going to cook for dinner, y'all, because I can make out a list of things that I want to cook throughout the week but when it's time to do it as far as cooking that particular meal sometimes I don't have a taste for that and if I don't have a taste for it it is something don't come out right I think I got a taste for some smothered hamburgers and gravy some rice and some green beans that's what I'm gonna do 
Now, my son, my son did ask me to cook him some macaroni and cheese. So, I think I'm going to make him a small pan of macaroni and cheese, some smothered hamburgers, rice and gravy, and these green beans. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, I think that's going to that's gonna be good. So, I'm going to call y'all back, and I'm going to show y'all the end of the product. I'm probably not going to. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it go. We'll see how it go. y'all so our new microwave just came in so i ordered a new microwave about a few days ago and it just came in and i hired a um hold on y'all okay so i'm back y'all i had to go buy me a little hat to put on little... all right so what i was saying was so my microwave just came in and i ordered it um from best buy a few days ago and they just now delivering it but I or I hired um I went on TaskRabbit and TaskRabbit actually um is like a handyman type um place where you can go in there and you put in your information and if you not if you like need stuff done around the house or like I use them to hang up my um uh TV up there and I ordered me another microwave to go over my stove or whatever. So they're supposed to be coming out here in a few minutes. Well, in an hour or two to install our new microwave. So we are getting things done and accomplished around here. So I'm kind of excited about that to be able to utilize my new microwave. Because the microwave that we got now, the handles, the handle came off. <laughs> and we just been kind of making it do with what it do you know what i'm saying we just been dealing with the handle not being gone and you can't really even tell that the handle is missing until you actually draw attention to it but i know it's missing and i know that was something on my list i said i wanted to do the start of this year is to order me a new microwave to go over my stove or whatever so task rabbit is on its way and y'all try y'all check out task rabbit in y'all area if you ever need like handyman stuff to do like hanging up pictures and stuff that you normally wouldn't you couldn't do um you want to pay for the convenience of paying somebody else to do it task rabbit is it so that's what i'm about that's what was getting ready to happen right now i need to run out to the store real quick to get some washing pot not washing powder some shampoo and conditioner because i do have a hair appointment um coming up and i need to get my hair washed and i realized i don't have any wash any shampoo or conditioner for my hair i think all of that is gone the shampoo and conditioner that i have is for like my wigs and stuff and I use a different shampoo and conditioner for my wigs versus what I use for my hair so I need to run out real quick to go get that so so he already got it down already that means he moving quick so this is how it looks before and we're going to see how it looks after and he is done you guys I'm loving my new microwave it's just literally like the last one that we had. But finally got a handle now. Because before we did not have a handle. <laughs> We'd be using a microwave without a handle. So yeah, it's nothing really changed about it. We just like GE appliances. And that's the one that we decided to go with. And he's got it back up. And it looks so good. Now it looks like a regular microwave that's up there now, y'all. Okay. We we normal now. We normal. <laughs>
What's up, y'all? So we are getting ready to head out for my son's. Oh, she down there. She mad. She big. Man. We're about to head to my son's 60th birthday dinner. And this is the outfit of the night. I got this. Hey! I got this sweater from. I can't remember exactly where I got this sweater from. But I got on this white and green sweater. Got this bag. Got my jeans and my boots. And we get ready to head to dinner. For my son, 16th. Sweet 16. I don't know. Do boys have sweet 16 or just girls? But, but anyway, that's what we're about to do. So we're heading to dinner. Y'all got my hair braided, so my braids are like super long. You guys can see that. But I'm loving it. Cute. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me see ice cream. <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 